We're doing science today. <laughs> I don't know. Pseudoscience. We'll call it pseudoscience. Uh, Mythbuster science, you know. Eh, we're going to call it science, but it's probably really not very scientific. Um, I am going to do. I am going to uh, do some things. We're going to melt various aluminum sources that I've got. Um, we're going to make some ingots. We're going to weigh the results before and after. See how much we got. Uh, we started with how much we ended up with. How much turned into dross. And from there, we can draw our own conclusions as to what is a, a decent metal for using. Scratch that. Not decent metal to use. How much yield are you going to get? Let's leave it there. Um, because I've been involved in some discussions recently about quality of aluminum and knowing the purity and things. And I'm not prepared to go there. Uh, I understand that there is a difference between a certified ingot and the scrap metal I've got in a bucket over here. I get that. Um, but most of us have, most of us hobbyists, that's what we have. We have scrap that we've picked up from various places. We've got aluminum cans, we've got extrusions, we've got different stuff, and that's what we're gonna look at today. I just wanna, I wanna take a look at how much metal we actually get out of those kind of things. So uh, let's go over to the table here and I'll show you what we're gonna measure. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is whoop, cans, these kind of things, right? We're going to take, I'm going to melt down, um, I've got a bag of these that we could melt down, um, and we're just going to kind of look at what they, what they give. All right, the next thing we're going to look at is something called, whoops, let's try it this way, swarf. I had never heard that term until just the other day. What is swarf? That's swarf. That uh, these are shavings are, that came off of a uh, uh, off a milling machine. I am. Um, I talked to the guy this morning who produced them. He assures me there is no steel in here, but we're going to run a magnet through it anyway just to make sure. While I got this thing sitting here. We're going to look at this bottle. I don't even know what else to call this thing. It's probably an extrusion. Maybe it's spun cast or something. But we're going to look at the bottle as well that I've got. Next thing we're going to look at. Extrusions. Extrusion, however you spell it, extrusion. Uh, these actually came off of um, an old screen, storm door, screen door. They're aluminum. Um, they're coated with a paint. Uh, looks like this one's been painted with a brush, but probably also uh, some sort of powder coating or so who knows. Extrusions. Horseshoes. Who knew? Horseshoes came in aluminum. They do. Some of them. Horse shoes. So those are the five things we're going to melt. Uh, and we're going to look at, again, we're going to take the starting weight of all these things. We're going to take the, we're going to melt them. We're going to make ingots out of them. We're going to melt, we're going to weigh the ingots. We're going to weigh the dross, the leftover stuff. Anything that's stuck in the, anything that comes off the top, anything that comes out of the bottom of my crucible. All that's going to get weighed up and we'll know how much yield we got out of all these kinds of things. I've got some cleanup to do. Clearly, I don't want to melt the nails and the horseshoes. Uh, I might even want to clean the horse manure off of them too. Who knows? <laughs> um, but that's what we're going to do. So let me go ahead and get some things set up. So let's, but anyway, let's get started. Let's get started with cans. Okay, that's 40 cans melted. We're going to we're scoop and dross. Man, there's a lot of dross. <laughs> this stuff comes out. There's so much dross with these things. Let's see if we can't get this to pour out of here now.
All right, that's pretty much all of it. Almost one, just about one ingot out of 40 cans. I probably got an equal amount of dross volume wise for sure. I've got an equal amount of dross, but we'll get all this stuff cooled down and weighed up and we'll mark the, uh, we'll mark it up. See how much we got. Okay, there it is. <laughs> that's the aluminum, that's the uh, cans. This is the dross that came out of, uh, that's out of the bottom of the crucible and the rest of the stuff I, I scraped off the top. Uh, and here's what I believe is usable out of that. One, one ingot and I don't know what that is, virtually nothing. I will weigh this all up and tell you at the end what we got. Next up, 561, conveniently 561 grams of swarf. Let's get that melted. All right, here comes the swarf. Get this emptied out, draw scraped off, and we'll bring it over and weigh it out. Man, this stuff is worse than the cans. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead. I, keep, <laughs> I may not have anything left here if I keep scraping it off the top. Let's see if we can't just pour it the way it is. We're going to pour out of the back side because I picked it up backwards. I can get it to run. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, that stuff, I probably scooped off a lot of it. Well, we weigh it up, I maybe I'll recover some. <laughs> we'll see. That's pretty sad though, isn't it? I mean, that's, A lot of dross in there too. All right, let me get this cooled down. All right, there you go. This is a <laughs> this is swarf. That's a pretty amazing. Now, granted, I have and this stuff's still pretty warm. I have some stuff here that looks like it could have been. It's possible I could salvage um, aluminum out of here. So uh, I'm not sure how I would have done that because that all scraped off the top when I was scraping dross. Um, Maybe if I had cooked it longer, maybe if I hadn't packed it so full, maybe, I don't know. But this is unusable to me now, unless I melt it down again and get the few, the few grams of uh, aluminum I can get out of there. Because um, a lot of that's still got a lot of, a lot of dross in it. It's still pretty, pretty bad. And this is what came out of the bottom. So next up, like I said, we're going go to uh, go to the extrusion next. Oh, I have a horrible feeling you missed the pour. Just in the, in the event that I didn't have the camera turned on, I turned it off. This is what the uh, ingots turned out, or the uh, extrusion turned out. Two, pretty almost two full ingots. Um, doing some shrinkage here. I'll come back in just a second when it's cool enough that I can take it out of the, um, uh, whatever you call this thing, ingot mold. And I'll show you the dross and we'll compare the two. All right, well, there you have it. There's the extrusion. Um, two pretty full ingots, hotter than hot. I shouldn't be touching them. <laughs> and this is the extent of the dross that I got. In fact, some of that, again, is probably, I could have gotten more out of it, but uh, it is just scooped off with the top, so I'm going to count that as loss. But so far, so far, this is my winner. We're going to go ahead and do horseshoes next. Just in case you're wondering, that's 561 grams of horseshoe. Okay, I've got the uh, horseshoes melted, and they look pretty clean. We're going to scrape the dross. Not a lot, maybe even less than the extrusion, which makes sense because the extrusion had paint all over it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that good, man. There's like nothing. Get this thing out of here. Make sure the camera's running good. <laughs> And here's the horseshoes. Man, there's like nothing left in the bottom of that. Can you see that? There's nothing left down in there. Those are great. All right, you know the drill. Let's let these cool off and we'll, uh, uh, we'll weigh things up. Well, <laughs> it may be too early to call it here, but uh, Man, horseshoes have uh, 
<laughs> they did great. <laughs> so very little dross. Again, I could have probably, there's hardly anything in there besides dross. That's just the oxidation that came off them and two full ingots. So we'll see what we got here at the end. We'll weigh them up and uh, check that out. Next up is the bottle. I cut the bottle up to look like this. It's just, uh, it's 570 or 569, I have to go look again. Pretty close to the other ones, 569 or 570 grams. We'll get this melt melted and we'll weigh it up. Alrighty, last one. This is the uh, gas bottle that I uh, cut up. Again, dross wise looks really good. Like almost none. Wow, yeah it's like There's like nothing in there, dross-wise. We may have a new winner. <laughs> Yet another winner. Wow, and that's even crass. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see in there? There's nothing in there. Wow. All right, well, <laughs> there it is. This is everything. This is what came out of the crucible. This is what I picked up off the floor. Um, and most of that is probably actually pretty clean aluminum. I may throw that over there with the, um, with the, the ingots because uh, it's pretty dross free it's just stuff that I scraped off that you know that one's questionable I don't know how much is in there but uh, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt I'll call it dross okay as soon as it cools that I can where I can touch it we'll weigh it all right the results are in uh, let's just show you what we got the first thing we did was cans so we ended up with just a little a little thing and three quarters of an ingot or something and we did this swarf, the swarf, swarf. <laughs> That's what we ended up with. Virtually nothing. Uh, next was the extrusion. There's the extrusion. Two full ingots, pretty close to full. That really a lot of shrinkage in here, which is interesting because I didn't see this much shrinking in the other aluminum. So that's kind of a, an interesting thing. Uh, next, horseshoes. Two full ingots out of a horseshoe. And then the last one is the bottle. And I got, whoa, I had, I got stuff. I got a little piece here, more stuff. Two full ingots, and I guess there's pretty good shrinkage on those as well. Um, so there's the, uh, there's the visible results. Let me bring you over here closer. We'll look at the paper and uh, I'll show you what we had uh, numerically. Pretty interesting. Okay, when we did the cans, um, I started off with 561 grams um, of raw material. What we ended up with was an ingot of 188 grams. Now, I weighed the dross on this one. And I ended up with 312 grams of dross, which means I lost 61 grams of something somewhere. And now they smoked. Uh, it could be the paint on the can. It could be maybe there was they were dry, but there might have been sugars and stuff in the bottom of the can that boiled off. I don't know. So there's that one. Um, that yielded 33%. So I started with 561, got 33% of that, which is 80, 188. Uh, the next one was the Swarf. Started again with 561. Uh, ended up with 52 grams. And that's 9%. Swarf was horrible. <laughs> horrible. Now, there may be a way for me to improve that. I don't know. Horrible stuff. All right, the extrusion. The next one, I actually started off with 565 grams of extrusion. Ended up with 478 grams of ingots for 84 percent yield so a pretty good yield for what i started with and there was a lot there's a piece of it right here again right i mean this is what it is there's paint all over it 
So that's not too bad, I don't think, 84. The next one were the horseshoes, and uh, they were pretty clean. There was still a little bit of dirt and manure on them, but not a lot. <laughs> We started off with 561 grams for that and ended up with 521 grams of, of ingots uh, or about 92%. So not too shabby. The bottle, uh, as you remember, was one of these guys, one of these uh, oxygen, this was an oxygen bottle that I, that I got. Um, that one we started off with 569 grams and ended up with 500 and 46 grams of material for just shy of 96 percent yield so this stuff was the winner um, followed by the horseshoes and I guess that's probably to be expected um, yeah before I finish talking to you let me let me change the camera again okay uh, I'm back I'm back <laughs> anyway I guess this was pretty pretty close to what I expected I knew cans uh, they, created a, they create a lot of dross, uh, and I've known that all along. I guess the aluminum that comes out of them is actually not too bad. Um, but a lot of volume for not a lot of gain. I mean, 40 cans. 40 cans right there. Uh, and I'm telling you, those are those big American cans, not the, the rest of you people. <laughs> I love you all. I love you all. You guys are all over the rest of the world. Um, and I'm pretty pretty much expected on the uh, on the bottle and the shoes because they're pretty pure. The extrusion, uh, where's the extrusion? There's the extrusion. Extrusion's not bad if you can get a hold of screen doors and stuff. I don't know what's in this stuff. I don't know if it's any good, but the yield is pretty good. So let me talk about Lincoln. You know, I watched a great video the other day. It has nothing to do with anything. Uh, Tobo, Tobo Mott. I'm going to link his video right here. He's got some great stock action stuff he did. It was fun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link a video that I did up here, uh, just a casting video, probably my fixing my hammer. You guys are watching the hammer getting fixed. Fix the hammer right there. And as always, there's the subscribe button. You need to click that bad boy. Uh, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, click that bell so you get notified. You guys have a great day.